Namaste. I'm gonna show how I can edit a scanned PDF book. So I have uh, Adobe Acrobat uh, version um, 11 Pro and it has an instrument panel. So in previous versions it was there always open on the right side now it's here it doesn't matter if it's in Russian but it should be here okay so there are several instruments and first we would want to cut out a few pages so okay so page 6 page 6 to 10 okay pages and uh, then 6 to 10 uh, we don't want to delete those pages after extracting and we don't want to extract them each of them as separate files so let's press OK so now we have a small file small file we have and now we can do OCR OCR is text recognition in this file yes all pages language not Russian but let's say it's uh, English, British, OK, OK, and let's wait. If the book is big, it will uh, take maybe an hour, two hours, but for a small file, this is a quick one. The scan quality is not too high, and for that reason, there will be errors. Uh, diacritic signs will be ignored as well, but there are not many in this book. Um, I use Latvian for recognition when I want more diacritic signs to be recognized because Latvian, my mother uh, tongue, uh, has more uh, Sanskrit diacritics than English has anyway. So what can I do now is I can close this window and I can have a text as a text. So I can just open it and paste it. You see that not everything is perfect, but anyway, it's better than nothing. Um, what I can do is uh, um, to select some text and change its color. I can use only one color, yellow. I cannot use blue, uh, green, whatever. That's a limitation. I hate it. Anyway, it's there. So now I can select. Um, you will see when and who added a selection. You can delete selections. Uh, so whatever. It's opening the properties of. Uh, okay, so you can change the color, but you cannot use several colors at once. No, you can. Okay. Uh, but not the easy way. Okay. So you can manually change, okay, not easily, uh, and you just save, save the document, uh, okay, let it save, there, um, that's how you extract pages, you need to have, the picture should be recognized as text, and then you can select it, and if it is not selected then you would want to do something like this you would want to draw like I did it when I was not aware of the OCR function what I did it was like I just every time selected and underlined like this it was stupid I did it for about five years when I was young that was how I did it it close it um, okay that's about it hope it helps see you soon